Hello friends, welcome to Finance MCQ. I am C. A. Pritham Sangwan, and today we will discuss about ratio analysis, which is an important topic from Commerce and Accountancy subject of Paper Two, which is a technical syllabus of your SEBI exam. Friends, this technical syllabus is of hundred marks in Phase One, and it has two third weightage in Phase Two of your SEBI Grade A exam. And friends, you can find entire technical syllabus of SEBI Grade A exam. chapter wise topic wise on finance mcq website in mcq question format you can visit the website and practice entire technical syllabus there i have put the website link in the description box below so let's begin friends let's start our discussion by first understanding meaning and type of ratios so what is a ratio friends it is an analytical tool used by management for financial analysis and planning friends there are various types of ratios such as liquidity ratios leverage ratios activity ratios and profitability ratios friends here we will discuss financial ratios which are relevant for your exam purpose only and not all ratios so let's start and discuss type of ratios one by one friends let's discuss about liquidity ratio so friends this ratio is also known as short term solvency ratio and this ratio indicates firm's ability to pay its short term liability that is whether you can pay your short term debt or not the liquidity ratio help you to identify that and friends there are various different type of liquidity ratios so let's discuss them one by one so friends type of liquidity ratios are first one is current ratio then we have quick ratio then cash ratio then we have basic defense interval ratio then we have net working capital ratio friends these are various types of liquidity ratio which helps to determine liquidity position of the company and its ability to pay its short term debt so let's try to understand all these types of liquidity ratio in detail first one is current ratio so friends it helps to measure whether business can pay its short term debt or short term payments and this ratio answers whether business have enough current assets to pay off its current debts or current liabilities whether it can pay its liability or not current liability or not and friends generally accepted current ratio is 2:1 to that is if you are having 2:1 to current ratio then you are in the sound position and now let's talk about formula for current ratio so friends current ratio is calculated as current assets divided by current liabilities and what is this current assets consist of so your current assets consist of inventory plus sundry debtors plus cash and bank balances plus receivables or your accruals plus loans and advances plus disposable investments and any other current assets so all these component consist of your current assets now what does your current liability consist of it consist of your credit sundry creditors for goods and services plus your short term loans plus bank overdraft plus cash credit plus any outstanding expenses plus if there is any provision for taxation your proposed dividend your unclaimed dividend plus any other liability so current liability consists of all this component so just to summarize it your current ratio is current assets upon current liabilities and the ideal current ratio is 2 is to 1 so i hope this current ratio is clear what it means and its formula now let's move on to the next ratio friends now let's discuss quick ratio so friends it is also known as acid test ratio and friends this ratio answers if all sales revenue disappears then whether business can meet its current obligations from readily convertible quick funds in hand or not so this ratio helps to know that if we don't have any sales revenue 
then we can whether we can meet our current obligations from our ready cash or not and friends generally accepted quick ratio is 1 raise to 1 so remember this our current ratio ideal current ratio is 2 raise to 1 and ideal quick ratio is 1 raise to 1 so now let's discuss formula for quick ratio so friends your quick ratio is calculated as quick assets upon current liabilities now what does this quick assets mean so your quick assets consist of your current assets in from that you will deduct inventories and prepared expenses and what about current liabilities your current liabilities is same as we mentioned under current ratio and friends please note here quick assets consist of only cash and near cash assets that is which are readily available for cash and here inventories are deducted from current assets on the belief that these are not near cash assets and also because in time of financial difficulties inventories may be saleable only at the liquidation value and not on their sales value hence they don't consider inventory as a cash and near cash assets so i hope now the meaning of quick ratio and its formula is clear to all of you now let's move on to the next ratio now friends let's discuss about cash ratio friends it is also known as absolute liquidity ratio so do remember this alternate name for all these ratios because it can be asked in your exam and friends this ratio measures the absolute liquidity of the business and considers only the absolute liquidity available with the firm friends it only test short term liquidity in terms of cash and marketable securities or current investments so cash ratio is for just to test our short term liquidity and what is the formula for cash ratio so friends formula for calculating cash ratio is cash and bank balance plus marketable securities divided by current liabilities or it can also be calculated as cash ratio equals to cash and bank balance plus current investments divided by current liabilities so the difference is the marketable securities or the current investments can be used substitute of each other so the formula remains the same cash and bank balance plus current investments divided by current liabilities so friends i hope the meaning of cash ratio and the formula of calculating cash ratio is clear to all of you now let's move on to the next type of ratio friends now let's discuss about basic defense interval ratio or which is also known as interval measures so what does it means so friends this ratio helps to determine the number of days for which the company can cover its cash expenses without the aid of additional financing and friends the formula is basic defense interval equals to cash and bank balance plus marketable securities divided by operating expenses upon number of days here assume num total days in a year as 360 days to calculate this ratio or alternatively it can be calculated as interval measures equals to cash assets minus inventory divided by daily operating expenses and friends here the daily operating expenses can be calculated as cost of goods sold plus selling expense administrative and other general expenses minus depreciation and other non cash expenditure divided by number of days in a year to calculate daily operating expenses so friends i hope this basic defense interval ratio is also clear and friends the chances of coming this ratio in the exam is very slim so i just recommend just to know about this ratio and you don't need to practice this ratio the other the first three ratios are important here so i hope it is clear now let's move on to the next point friends now let's talk about net working capital ratio so friends this ratio is more of a measure to calculate cash flow in the business rather than a ratio 
so here we just need to calculate net working capital and how it is calculated it is calculated as current assets minus my current liabilities where current liabilities will exclude my short term borrowings and friends working capital required for running day to day business operations and a positive working capital is a sign of firm's ability to fund its daily businesses and friends loans are often tied to minimum working capital requirement so just remember this point and you just need to have a basic knowledge about what is net working capital ratio the it may be hardly asked in your exam so let's move on to the next point now friends let's just quickly recap what are the various types of liquidity ratio we just discussed the first one we talk about current ratio then we talk about quick ratio then cash ratio then we discuss about basic interval ratio and net working capital ratio here you need to study the first three in little bit more detail that is your current ratio quick ratio and cash ratio and the remaining two that is basic defense interval and net working capital ratio even if you just know about this ratio that will be sufficient friends we keep our discussion till here only i request you all to watch this video and practice liquidity ratio again these are one of the important ones and a question can be asked in your sebi grade a exam paper 2 friends for more practice of this topic in mcq format i request you to please visit finance mcq website it has entire sebi grade a technical syllabus which is paper 2 of journal stream in mcq format it has 2000 plus subject wise topic wise mcq questions to practice we have added explanations for correct answers wherever required it also has 25 test series for your technical syllabus to practice so friends there is lot of study materials to practice on finance mcq do visit the website for more practice and increase your selection chances friends website link is in the description box below I will come up with new video till then take care and thank you so much for watching